We are very sad to report this morning that Vernon Jordan has died. He was one of the great civil leaders, civil rights leaders of our time, advisor uh, to President Bill Clinton, and a beloved figure among his colleagues at Lazard and elsewhere. In a statement, Vicki Jordan said that Vernon died peacefully last evening, surrounded by loved ones. Uh, for those who don't know Vernon, he was the president of the National Urban League from 1971 to 1981, and then of course, worked uh, with uh, Bill Clinton. Uh, he, was, uh, he was shot at in 1980, almost killed uh, by a white supremacist back then, uh, and had a huge role, probably the most prominent, one of at least the most prominent African Americans uh, on Wall Street and within the business world. Uh, he was on the boards of directors of Revlon, Sara Lee, uh, Corning, Xerox, RJR Nabisco during the 1989 famous leverage buyout between RJR and Nabisco, uh, you remember, and Henry Kravis, um, and uh, a towering figure in the world of business lost last evening. Becky? And in Washington, too. I, I knew Vernon well. Um, From, anybody who knew uh, him knew Alfalfa how warm, and, welcoming. Yeah. Alfalfa Club always mm, being I the one who would mm -hmm. turn a joke, who would host people. Um, Yep. Just a figure yep. in Washington who moved behind the scenes to try and advance civil rights and make sure that the people at the top, both in business yep. and in government, were you, thinking all the time about equality and, and, and moving, that, um, yep. moving that needle. There um, could be – how many people at that dinner? There's a, a thousand or so probably, and you, you could see him yeah. immediately. He was tall and elegant and, you know, you were starstruck. Oh, my God. Uh, I was, anyway. He would own the room. Vernon he could Vernon own the room. Vernon. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Um, he will be missed dearly. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.